Anyway, that's the end of the dwarf quests. Let's head on over to Raktika and do the Kitari quest, the last Kitari quest. Go ahead and update the stream text too. Last time on the Kitari quests, we wrapped up the storyline and we were able to cure them of their disease or whatever. Forget exactly. It's been a while. But let's see if the uh, Jakarl Katol can remind us what we did. Glory be the Scree. Jakarl Katol is pondering the history of Ronga and his people. Oh, Beryllion, on behalf of all the stewards, I thank you for your tireless efforts. You have our sincere gratitude. Indeed. We Kitari must bear the responsibility of having spread the pox to these parts of the forest. Finally, we have brought this painful chapter of our history to a close, and we could not have done so without your invaluable aid. At first, I feared we might damage our relation with the Knights Blessed and the Vis beyond repair. Instead, we have managed to overcome the plague together, and in doing so, the time-tested bonds between our peoples are stronger than ever before. I travel to Slitherbow and Fennel all the time to share tidings from the forest with our, my newfound friends. And with the guidance of the Great Serpent, we have reclaimed the long-lost knowledge, not just of our kind, but of the Great Ronka itself. In studying the restored Stella, I have had occasion to reflect and ruminate on the history of the Empire. It truly was a great civilization, controlling and exerting influence over all of ancient Novarunt. It was a civilization of great enlightenment, welcome myriad people and uniting them under a single banner to live in peace and prosperity. Hume and Vis, Kitari and Ronso, living side by side and working towards a common good. The artistic and academic accomplishments of the Empire were many, and yet this, its greatest strength, would also prove its downfall. Or so my theory holds. As the Empire expanded and the years went on, one strong friendships and alliance began to turn sour. Small disagreements flared into all-out conflicts, and Ronka, once akin to a mighty tree that seemed as if it would stand forever, began to splinter from within. I imagine Ronka in its final years, withered and dying. No doubt the Emperor sat on his throne, waiting in vain for the arrival of one who would restore his empire to its former glory. Waiting for the ally of Ronka. Compared to the long and storied history of Ronka, my own three years seem insignificant as a drop of water in a great gushing river. I understand the sentiment, my boy, but it is not so. While the lifespan of any one Kitari may be short, we must never underestimate the value of our shared knowledge and wisdom, accumulated through our many experiences and recorded for the sake of posterity. Just as our forefathers did their part to shape the course of Ronkin history, so too will the discoveries you have made serve to forge the future of our people and the Great Wood itself. But we must not forget our friends and allies, without whose aid we may not have survived to see this day. Might I trust you to convey your gratitude to them on my behalf to Carl? But of course, Father, consider our glad, no, gratitude conveyed. Ho oh, ho, ever learning. I see, Berlian. Might I trust you to escort my son to Fanau? I would not be able to forgive myself if anything unfortunate happened to him on this day of triumph. Come, Berlian. Master Lanil was overjoyed to see us, I'm sure. 
I don't know how I remember these voices. Because again, it's been several- well, not again. This is a separate video. It's been months since I did this- the last quest for this. And to think, the feast all but scared my whiskers off when we first met. I must say, I'm happy to call them friends today. The Kitari excavation was a success, and the sickness that plagued the forest has been subsided. They are good tidings indeed. So why is it I cannot feel a little bit sad? What I would not give to see the Stella with my own eyes. Sadly, at the moment, my duties keep me here. It pleases me to hear that all went well in the stopple. We are honored to have done our small part to be of service to our Kitari friends. Never did I think I would live to see this age-old alliance of Ronka rekindled. For us as well, Master Lanil. From ancient rituals to the remedies that eased our pain in trying times, there is so much wisdom that we learned from you. I am certain that this is only the start of a long and fruitful friendship. You are wise beyond your years, my young friend, and there is much that you and your people have already taught us. Promise that you will continue to share with us your gleanings of from history, that we might put them to use ourselves in protecting and preserving our forest home. It would be an honor! All's well that ends well, yes. And now I do believe it is time has finally come that I stop tarrying and take to the road. Are you going somewhere, my good Madam Fina? I will depart on a journey that has been far too long in the making. I intend to travel beyond the Great Woods Reach in search of feasts who live scattered across the lands, and they might join us here in Raktika to together preserve and pass down the wisdom of Ranga. For now has always been my home, and it will not be easy for me to leave it behind, and yet I will leave with the knowledge that the forest is in good hands. Promise me that you will not let Siuna get into too much trouble, yes? I dare say you are the one who needs looking after, sister. Perhaps I should accompany you. Ha! Ah, rest assured, I am more than capable of taking care of myself. Forgive me if I refrain from stepping in the midst of a sibling squabble. Go in safety, Fina, and when the azure blooms will guide you home. Thank you, Master Lanil. I will return. And with that, I had best be off. Before I find another reason to delay my journey any longer, young Jakarl, brilliant, promise me you will be well. Fina. And you as well, Siuna. No matter how far my journey may carry me, know that a part of me is always here with you. And with you, sister. That was sweet. And she finally stopped delaying, dilly dallying. Saying goodbye is not easy, is it? But it is time we return to the road again ourselves. We must pay respect to Valen and Quintford, after all. Very well. We will not keep you any longer. Do pass along our respects to our friends in Slitherbow. I was not certain what to think of that Quintford at first, but he has proved a loyal friend. But of course, should you ha ever have time, do come visit Father and I. Nothing would make me happier than to be able to show you around the stopple. And this is the first pile of leaves. And this is the second pile of leaves. That concludes our tour of the stopple. Like, what is there to show besides the actual, the actual, uh, Stella? 
Anyway, let's head over to let's head over to the Slitherbo. Go ahead and teleport. Make things a little quicker. Okay. Or Nar still waiting for Ishtola? Ah, it is the great Quinfurt! In addition to the medicine I offered in invocation to the great serpent in the name of each and every one of the afflicted, judging from the spring in Valen's step, I dare say my prayers were heard. Sure, Quinfurt. Is that the Great Serpent of Ronka? Master Valen, are you certain you should be up and about like this? Have no worries, my friend. I am feeling like my old self again. I hear that all is well again in the Stopple too. That's truly a relief. I shudder to think what would happen, would have happened to all of us here in the Greatwood if it hadn't been, if you hadn't made your discovery. Truly, we owe a debt of gratitude to your ancestors and their wisdom. And truly, we are all in a, owe a great debt to the great serpent of Ronka. By those divine auspices, young Chakarl was led to the stella in which the cure was inscribed. Yes, praise be the serpent, praise be. <sighs> Do you think you could keep your voice down a bit? Some of us are still recuperating from a life-threatening plague, you know. Speaking of which, Chikaro, whatever had made you think that little fellow was the great serpent in the first place? When Quintford first started rambling on to that end, I thought he might finally lost the last of his wits. An excellent question, Valen, and one I have been giving some thought to myself. Father has always told me tales of how the Rockins worshipped a great serpent as their guardian and protector, but there were no clear records of its physical appearance. <laughs> On the night that darkness returned to the skies, the small creature we now know well arrived before us wearing that curious hat. Intrigued, I followed after it. It led me through the Ravel, where I saw that the passage to our an an central homeland was at long last open once more. Jumping for joy, I picked the small creature up and ran home to share the news with father. With tears in his eyes, he gazed at me deeply and spoke these words. The great serpent itself has arrived to guide us home. In that moment, I knew it must be so. A moment of divine inspiration, no doubt, and not altogether unlike my own. Yes, this is most fascinating indeed. In my own case, the Great Serpent has appeared before me in my visions for as long as I can remember. Time and time again, it shared with me the words of wisdom that I so dutifully recorded in the Gospel of Quinfort. One day, it called out to me with a terrifying scree, warning of a great calamity that was to befall the Greatwood if I did not rise to action. It was shortly after that we came upon the tiny creature in the forest, and I recognized it immediately as the incarnation of our divine protector. It is clear now that all was leading up to this day. Its first appearance in my visions, our meeting, all had been part of the great serpent's grand design to restore peace, harmony, and prosperity to the forest. Truly, we would have never been able to rediscover our history, nor overcome the spread of the plague, were it not for the serpent's guidance and wisdom. Scree? Clearly, your forefathers revered the great serpent as well. 
Why else would they have engraved it atop the final stilla, buried deepest and furthest from the Sin Eater's reach? Now, this immaculately preserved stella stands before us incontrovertible proof that this tiny creature is indeed that which we all instinctively perceived it to be, the manifestation of Ronka's divine protector who hath come once more in our time of need to guide our people through trying times and into a new generation of peace and prosperity. Scream! Last time, after it, its work was done, the Great Serpent left us, going off to some place where only gods dare tread. Actually, it's been following Berlian out on her adventures, you know. What nonsense is this, Valen? <laughs> Clearly, the Great Serpent has been watching over us all this time. In any event, it is clear that we owe the Serpent a great debt of gratitude. It would be remiss of us not to make pilgrimage to, to the site where we might properly pay obeisance. It would like nothing more than to pay us osabe ants, Master Quinfort, but there is no telling where the Serpent has gone. Where might we go that it might hear our words? Fear not, my young guitari friend, for I know just the place. The ancestral slumbering place of the Great Serpent, the mighty crystal that has appeared before me many time and again in my visions. I speak of none other than the fruit of the protector, cradled amidst the waters of Lake Sumika Mekta. Felin and I make the trek there nigh every day to express our gratitude to the Great Serpent for deigning to share its divine guidance with us. Don't look at me like that, Brillian. I don't go every time, and when I did, it was just to keep Quinford here out of trouble. And just how should we go expressing our gratitude to the Great Serpent? An astute question, my young friend. If you wish, I would be happy to share with you some choice passages from the Gospel of Quinfort that would be most suitable for the occasion. For example, there is chapter 15, verse 5, which begins as follows. Oh, hearken unto the heavenly screen. <laughs> Never mind Quinfort's ramblings. I'm sure the serpent would appreciate it all the more if you thanked it in your own words. And so without the rest of us... Trust me. Er, thank you, Valen. I believe I will do just that. Glory be the Scree! I was afraid Quinford's rambling would go to Chakarl's head, but the boy seems to have a good head on his shoulders. Ah, oh, but of course! How could I forget chapter 9, verse 11, and chapter 2, verse 2? Oh, if only I had the time to share the entire gospel with my Kitari friend. Run, Chakarl. Run. Anyway, let's head on over to wherever we're going. Uh, where, where's the exit? There it is. Okay, yeah, over by the sea. Over by the water. Like they said. Uh, where's the exit? There it is. So we're just gonna pay our... Pay your respects to the Great Serpent of Ronka! Actually, he's been following Brilliant along on his adventures. <laughs> okay, okay, Valen. Okay. Well, here I am. What, what words can truly convey my feelings to the Great Serpent? Oh, hearken unto the Heavenly Scree. You could just say thank you. Perhaps I should keep it simple. Yes. Oh, Great Serpent. Thank you ever so much for watching over us. You have my most sincerest gratitude. It was by your guidance that my people have reclaimed our history, and that I have made so many new friends and allies. 
I promise that we will never forget you and pass down tales of you for generations and generations to come. What's happening? Did, do you think the serpent heard my words? Sure. Scree, scree! Well, that was nice. When the crystal glimmered and glowed, it almost felt like it was speaking to me. Do you believe this means the serpent heard my words? At the very least, I take heart in knowing that I have conveyed my thanks to the serpent, and to all our new friends throughout the forest. And with this, I can return to Father and the Stopple with my head held high. All right, let's head over, let's teleport over to Fennel and head back to Hopple Stopple. And then that will be the last of the Katari quests. And that'll be two of the three Shadowbringers tri tribal quests done. Or quest lines done. I still have a little bit more to do on the Pixie quests. All right. Guitaro Natal. Let's talk to Carl Katal first. Oh, I simply must take Father to see the Great Serpent's home. I cannot thank you enough for accompanying my son throughout the forest. To the end, you have gone above and beyond on our behalf. It is a debt of gratitude the Katari will not soon forget. In reclaiming our heritage and history, we have also rekindled the time-honored bonds of friendship with our fellow residents of Raktika. The Knight Blessed, the Vis, the Great Serpent, and not least of all, Brillian, ally of Ronka, all have played a part in events that will have been etched in the annals of history. Yes, the stewards shall see to it that these events are handed down to our children, and our children's children, and so on, until long after we ourselves are gone. You have my word. In the meantime, we shall continue our excavation of the tunnels beneath the stopple. I have even considered commissioning the creation of a new stilla, in which all we have gleaned in recent days may be recorded for posterity. Father and I might not have seen eye to eye in our imper impertitations of history, but I can assure you that we are of like mind regarding the future we would forge for our people. Oh, how you have grown, Jakarl. It nigh brings tears to my eye. Thank you for everything, Brillian. I know that there are many places you must journey, but to know that you will always have a home here in the stopple. Is that not so, O oh Great Serpent? <laughs> it still looks so goofy. Glory be to the Scree. Reputation has increased to Bloodsworn. You have achieved Bloodsworn reputation with the stewards. You will receive experience points, bonus, yeah, yeah. I'm already maxed gatherers, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, let's check out the reward we got. Let's see. Oh, there we go. We got the Beheaded Spirit of Ronka. And I get the Katari Framing Kit, which I think I forgot to grab the dwarf one earlier. 
And then I can get some grade 8 material for later. Let's go ahead and collect these. 